Hey there everyone and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to do a quick review on the Carbon One Paddle by Carbon. They have a total of two different models up on their website, the Carbon One and the Carbon Two. Both come in a 13 or 16 millimeter option. As you can see, personally I chose to go with the Carbon One and a 16 millimeter, which is the elongated shape. And according to the website, this shape allows for great court coverage and will help set you up to return anything your opponent has to throw at you. The extra length on the handle also allows just enough room for a two-handed backhand drive. If the elongated Carbon One paddle is not for you, Carbon also has the Carbon Two available on their website, which is more of a classic square paddle. This has a shorter handle and the face is shorter as well and wider than the Carbon One, thus extending the sweet spot out wider rather than longer as in the Model One. As far as paddle thickness, the 13 millimeter core is meant for those who love power and the 16 millimeter core is meant for those who like a softer feel around the net. Although if you do decide to go with a thicker 16 millimeter core, I doubt you'll be sacrificing much power. According to their website, the Carbon 1 and 2 models both feature a raw T700 carbon fiber face with a honeycomb polypropylene core. Not only does this produce an insane amount of spin, but it also provides a massive sweet spot for the perfect balance of power and control. Both models, the Carbon 1 and the Carbon 2, no matter the millimeter thickness, go for the same exact price of $179.99. This paddle is so good, at the time of making this video, they have been sold out everywhere. I had to wait about a month before I got my paddle, although online, they expect to have them back in March of 2022, and you can pre-order online. And just so you know, I have zero affiliation with the company Carbon whatsoever, and I paid full price for my paddle. I'm simply making this video because I'm an equipment junkie myself, and I thought it might be useful on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in hearing a quick bounce test to see what this paddle sounds like, here you go and listen closely. The biggest challenge for me when choosing a carbon paddle was which model to pick, the carbon one or the carbon two. Or, what about the millimeter thickness, the 13 or the 16? I think what it boils down to is what works best for you. What kind of paddle are you playing with now? What kind of shape? What kind of thickness? That may help you answer the questions you need to know when switching to carbon. If you got this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content.